All week we'll be playing Know Your Teammates on Red Sox at Fort Myers, presented by Jordan's The Furniture Store, the Boston Red Sox. Here's how it goes. Three multiple choice questions. First one is worth a point, second one worth two, third worth three, and then the bonus question, not a multiple choice question about the man sitting next to you. That's a five point question. Dustin Pedroia, the clubhouse leader with a perfect 11 point performance. No, wait, did I do that wrong? 11 points? 11. No, that's 11. 11 points. Yeah, we got it right. All right, so here we go. It's time to play Know Your Teammates. All right, so question number one with the point. Who was once Barry Zito's personal catcher? Was it Ryan Hannigan, Shane Victorino, Pablo Sandoval, or Mike Napoli? It was Pablo Sandoval. Two with Pablo Sandoval. Two are correct. In 2009, he made three starts behind the plate. So Pablo Sandoval, you've each got a point. Well done. Whose uncle is Terry Shumpert, who appeared in 21 games for the Red Sox in 1995? A, Mookie Betts, B, Jackie Bradley Jr., C, Rusne Castillo, and D, Xander Bogarts. Say, what was the name again? Terry Shumpert. And then Betts, Mookie, Bradley, Bradley Castillo, Castillo Bogarts. Bogarts. I'm going to say Mookie. He says Mookie Betts. I'm going Jackie. He's correct. Mookie oh. Betts it is. So he's got three points. You're at one. Can't feed him the answers. Who spends time in Western Massachusetts fly fishing? Mike Napoli, Rick Porcello, Ryan Hannigan, Clay Buckholz. I'm going to say Ryan Hannigan because I think he's from there. I disagreed with you last time, and I was wrong. I'm going to disagree with you again, Rick Porcello. Rick Porcello is correct! Yes. He said Porcello, oh, so we'll does that him. count? <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave that to the judges. <laughs> it's the judges. Does that count? That's what we say. Cello, like Dang that. it. Playing the cello. That was like a red wine. Hold on, a nice Porcello. Like good answer. There you go. Porcello is correct, even though he, uh, he uh, never lived in New England. <laughs> there you go. Porcello. You got it. All right, so uh, he gets four points. You're at three points now. The five-point bonus question. Uh, we will begin uh, with you, Brock Holt. Uh, what? Uh, who? Sorry. Who did Daniel Nava hit the first pitch he ever saw in Major League Baseball for a grand slam off of? What pitcher gave up the grand slam to Daniel Nava in his first ever one. Major League at bat? We talked about afternoon, this too. Nationally televised. Oh man. I, 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 I can't even tell you. I, I, I'm embarrassed that I don't even know this. <laughs> really. Daniel? Bad teammate. Should we give him a clue? Yeah, give me a clue. Who did he play? What was the team? Philadelphia. Philadelphia. It was... Righty? Righty. In two times. Um... Mookie Betts' uncle. <laughs> Terry Shumpert. It was Terry not Terry Shumpert. It was not Rick Porcello. <laughs> it was Joe Blanton. Joe Blanton. Joe Blanton I was gave say up that the Grand too. Slam. I was going to say that. All right, Dang so it. you've oh, got four man. points. This would give you nine, which would move you into tie for second place with Alan Craig. Who was the other player brought in from Pittsburgh with Brock Holt when he was traded to the Red Sox? The other player was... Um, this is an easy one. It was Hanrahan. It was too easy. So the other part of the question is, he lost to Will Middlebrooks in what competition on this show two spring trainings ago? Hanrahan? Yes. Oh, that was the... Uh... No, that was last year. That was hockey. Oh, I wasn't on that answered. show. I wasn't there. The year before. I wasn't there. You, can't you weren't here for that? He was here. Well, the answer was, the, it was, the answer um, was Hanrahan. So we could give it to half, you. Half, two and a half You points. can't go half. I mean, being back you can't take it and then it's pull it away. Toss. No, he's right. We'll give it to him. We're going to give it to him. Second place. If it was for first place. It's your place, show. Yeah. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Second place. Second, second best isn't bad. Really bad. That's true. Second place isn't bad. We'll give it to you. Nine points because the answer was Joel Hanrahan, the easiest question we've had in trivia so far. Guys, it was fun. Thanks. Good luck with that doggy daycare situation. Thank you. Thank you. If you're down here in Florida and you own a kennel, you might want to call Brock Holt. We'll take a break. Come back right after this.